Time now 12 at 43. Have you checked your credit score recently? You probably don't want to, but really you may need to, especially if you are a millennial CPA. Kimberly Washington joins us now to explain why. Kimberly, this is something that a lot of people avoid doing. Right, a lot of people avoid doing, but that was research that just showed, especially in the millennial group, that those credit scores are pretty low, about in the 600 range. So you want to do something about it. And so what are some of the tips that people can have for staying on top of their credit? Right, the first thing you want to do is download your credit report at annualcreditreport.com. This is a free place you can go and actually download all your reports from all three major your credit reporting agencies. So that's the first thing you want to do because you can do that for free there. And so, but when you get it, then what? I mean, you have to look over right. it and do some analysis. And if you spot right. something that maybe is not accurate or right. you should dispute it. Right, a couple of different things. Of course you want to dispute it. If you have negative items on your credit report, dispute them. Inquiries and all of these different things that may do bring down your credit report, your credit score rather, you want to dispute it so that you can increase your credit score. I mean, but this is disputing legitimately <laughs> negative items. Yeah. Some people just, you know, Know, dispute Some everything. people do and actually works for them, <laughs> but yes, you definitely want to dispute things that are true, correct. <laughs> okay, also, um, when it comes to credit, you said something about a credit simulator. A credit simulator. So there are different apps out there now that would actually take your personal profile and determine which ways you can increase your credit score. So it's a really cool thing to do because that gives you an idea what steps you need to take in the future as it relates to bring up your credit score. Um, do, how soon do people see results when they do these things? Some people, you know, trying to, they're trying to buy <laughs> something they need a credit score up in weeks Does it, it doesn't take that it's so it really depends if it's something that's negative on your report and it immediately comes off of course that can boost it up immediately but if it's something that you have to do over time it may take some time and listen it doesn't happen over you know just that moment of so you want to just be patient and with your credit score because it can go up all right good advice there and we can't let you go without the Kim sense particularly for young people right. a lot of them in the sharing economy but they may need to yes. establish credit how yes. do they go about doing that one way you can do it right now so if your credit score is not exactly where it needs to be, you want to actually reach out to a relative, maybe a parent, and ask to become an authorized user. If they have a strong credit history, then by becoming an authorized user, it can really boost up your credit score. So, but you got to be careful. Both parties need to be because, again, that person is now authorized on your credit, too, as well. Right, and you don't want to bring them down. <laughs> yeah, so you got to be really <laughs> careful, but that could be one way that can help, especially a parent and child situation. Always good yeah. advice. Kimberly Washington, thanks for Thank being here. Thank you so here. much. Thank you.